What is up everyone, Team Ayanato here, welcoming you back to another video. It's not much, but it's mine. Tonight, I have something very exciting for all of you guys. I know I'm excited about this. So I had one of these few months back, but another version came out, so I sold my old one. Waited a couple of months before I got the new one, and now I have the new one. What am I talking about? Wait for it. I got the new DJI Mavic Mini. I had the Mavic Mini 1 last year. I got it around January last year. But when they announced this earlier this year, I knew that I wanted it. So I sold my old one, waited a little bit more before I purchased this one. When I had the Mavic Mini 1, I did not purchase the Fly More Combo. But this time, I did go for the FMC because that, that was one of the things that I regretted when I got the Mini 1. I did not opt for the FMC. But this time, I made sure that I got the FMC. So I got this from Altitude Digital. They have a Facebook page. You can order it online. They will deliver it to you. It has one year warranty. They're legit. They have an official receipt. And they also gave me some cool freebies like this SanDisk 64 gig micro sd it's the 160 megabyte per second read and write so it's pretty fast it's a pretty fast memory card and i don't know if this is an official uh dji merch but they also sent over a shirt so the future possible the future of possible so Yep, they got me this. They have it in my size. I'm a pretty big guy, so quite surprised that they have it in my size. So I'm going to be wearing this soon. Altitude Digital Facebook page. You can check them out. So without further ado, let's open this up. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I already opened this up because I had to check the contents when it was delivered. But I still haven't used it. So let's just... Pull out the bag. Gotta keep the box just in case they come up with the Mavic Mini 3 and I want to sell this. So let's just talk about some of the specs first that is written on this box. So it has a ultra light, it's ultra light and foldable, so it's less than 249 grams. So you know, for those FAA requirements, I don't think you need an FAA license if you're gonna fly a drone lighter than 249 grams 31 minute max flight time so can't wait to check that out 10 kilometer ocusync 2.0 hd video transmission so that's something new because of the new remote as well 8.5 to 10.5 meters per second level 5 wind resistance i don't know what that means three axis gimbal it now has 4k video the uh, older dji mavic mini only went up to 22.7k so this one is 4k does quick shots one tap videos and panorama then let's check out what's in the bag pretty cool looking bag you can't see the zippers so you can't see the zippers so let's just open this up and see what's in the bag it's a pretty nice bag but i'm not sure if i'm gonna be using much of it because it's a small drone i can easily fit this in my camera bag now on to the content so let's see what's in here first so i think these are documentation but there's a qr card yep these are documentation like instruction manuals you have the documentation you also have i, I like how this is this is packaged it's everything is in their own slot everything is in boxes so if you look inside the bag kind of looks like a camera bag so you have everything in there so these are the accessories so what's in here oh this is the the battery charger i didn't have this before 
you have the the cords for your phone when you're flying it because the remote control of the drone can actually charge your phone you have the type c charger because this is now chargeable via type c but i don't see anything here for the iphone Oh my god, is this for real? Is this for real? No iPhone 4, let's see. Seriously though. Oh my god. There's no lightning cable here. Well, that sucks. But it also comes now with the power brick. Maybe the iPhone thing is somewhere in there. Anyway, moving forward, we have this power brick and let's open this charger up. I'm doing a really bad job at this. So the cool thing about this is you will also get to you can also charge your, some of your gadgets, other gadgets with this. So when this is plugged in, you can just use that USB A slot and charge anything else that you might have that might need charging. You have the two extra batteries already loaded in there. And now let's open up the remote. Oh my god. I really like the feel of this remote. I like the size. This is so much better than the older remotes wherein you have to flip those things out. And this, the joysticks are actually underneath so it's easier to access before you have to flip out the thing and just get it. But now it's just here. Pop those in. Oh my god. I really like this remote a lot. And you can change the modes here. So you have semi, normal, and sport. And this is where your phone goes. Oh, the lightning cable one is actually here already on the remote. I did not put that there. I swear I haven't used this yet. Oh my God, that's just so much prettier. You don't have to look like before the phone was under here. I think this is a better position for the phone. It's It just feels more natural there. And you just plug this in here. Like that. Oh yes. I really like this remote. So this, this is it. This is what it looks like. I think, I think, I think the remote is as big as the drone. So. Let's look at the Piste Resistance, the Mavic Mini 2. Oh, it's so tiny. Look at it. Look how tiny that is. It's just very small. So, I don't know if the FMC Mavic Mini 1 included this, but this has a propeller guard. So let me just remove the stickers. ASMR. Oh, there's just a button there, so it's just... Yes, because this is this was actually an issue before when you didn't have that prop guard before, so when you put it in your bag, it's, everything is just loose and I, I was always afraid that I might break some of the propellers. Actually also got an ND filter for this. It's coming soon. It's in the mail. The remote is bigger than the drone itself but this is not meant for you to shoot like professional grade videos though it will look good at 4k so i'm gonna be showing you some sample clips right now so this was all shot in 4k this is just my house one thing that i always thought could be done better is this camera shield it just feels like every time i remove it i'm gonna break it but this is the drone it looks pretty nice. It's a nice looking drone. It will do the job if you're just doing it for like YouTube or some personal projects. Again, this is not meant to shoot a lot of professional projects. Where are my extra propellers? There should be extra propellers. Extra propellers found it. I think you get a little bit more extra propellers and extra thumbsticks if you get the FMC, the Fly More Combo, rather than just when you get the standard package, you get less. But this drone is nice. I'm going to be doing a full review soon. Let me just fly it around. But for now, let me just try to fly it.
Yep, I'm gonna be so excited flying this around. I don't want to fly it indoors much because I might break it. I have to re reintroduce myself or re-educate myself on flying a drone. It's been months since the last time I flew a drone. But again, this is a great starting point for beginners and for the hobbyist. This is gonna be a great drone. It shoots 4K. It shoots 2.7, it's 1080, it has a lot of modes. Again, I'm gonna be going through them when I make a review. But for now, let's stick to the unboxing. I have I have had great experiences with the Mavic Mini 1. I know that I will get better experiences with this Mavic Mini 2. But yes, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. And please don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button, punch that notification bell so you're notified every time I have a new video. And that's it for me tonight. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Out. It's a very nice looking drone. Drone.